This is what you call an Indio guitar. This was purchased by a customer of mine from the Mono Price website for $89. So the idea is to do a modification on this very inexpensive guitar. I mean, a guitar under $100 for a new guitar. That's not bad in a Stratocaster. I've checked the frets. The frets are amazingly, on this one anyway, I'm not advertising these guitars. I'm just saying this happens to be a good one. I'm not saying that they're all this way, but these frets are quite level on this one. It also has a pretty good sounding set of pickups. So the question is, what is the cheapest way, the cheapest and best way, the cheapest and best way to modify this guitar? without with without changing much changing as little as possible as, as little as possible of the hardware so i'm going to show you what we're going to do for it and um, how to do a real cheap mod to a guitar like this that really gives you some tonal options and makes this thing sound great one of the things we're going to do we're definitely going to change out as far as hardware are these tuners they are really cheap they feel like they're going to break we've got a set of locking uh, hip shots that are going in there replace those the fingerboard's great um, plays really nice got a nice rosewood slab on there i mean 89 bucks not bad uh, i used to uh, rebuild these mono price uh, les paul guitars and put stainless steel frets on them and DiMarzio pickups and fix them all up. That was about 10 years ago. This one is one of the mono price guitars. It's called an Indio. And I'm going to show you what kind of a mod we can do for this. So with the pick guard removed, we can see that there is absolutely no shielding in the cavity of the guitar. The uh, pick guard has no shielding except for the controls. They have a thin uh, sheet of uh, aluminum foil type sticky stuff there. And that's it. We're going to need to put copper shielding in this just to make sure these pickups stay quiet. Not a whole lot, just you know, mainly on the, in the bottom areas. And a little more shielding on the pick guard. That'll do. As far as this is concerned, these are those puny little dime sized alpha pots that are very restrictive and they are not good for signal flow. So these pickups sound pretty good right now, but with better pots like a quarter size CTS and a better a capacitor for the tones, we're going to have a better signal. And then we're going to do something to this. I'll show you. There's a modification I'm going to do without having to change the pickups that's going to make this guitar sound really good. And I'm not talking about um, a battery or a preamp or anything like that. There's something that I'm going to do here with the electronics. It doesn't cost very much uh, as far as the parts. And uh, it's, a, it's a wiring job that I'm going to, to do here uh, with a push-pull pot that's going to give this thing some big sounds. So uh, that's the idea for the mod. And remember also that we're going to change these tuners. All right, so I've got the Monoprice Strat back together now. I really like this guitar. You know, these, um, these are now going for, as of this date, which is October 7th, 2023, these are now 109 on uh, Prime and free shipping. That's where you get them if you want one. And uh, that's a tremendous deal. I mean, this thing has got a nice rosewood fingerboard, a 9.5 radius, and I really like the neck. And uh, I kind of like the shape of that headstock, too. Great little mod. Uh, this is <laughs> definitely a, a little badass beater here. So we changed as little as possible the hardware on this guitar. We left the, the pickups that came with it are in there. The tremolo, everything 
even the output jack is still all stock. The only thing we changed, we changed the tuners here, and the customer uh, purchased a set of uh, the hip shot staggered locking tuners. And then I installed CTS pots for a volume and tone, and for this tone here, which is a push pull, which activates series switching. So the idea here is not to uh, get a bigger sound out of better pickups, but just take the pickups that are there and do a wiring that uh, causes it without having to buy new pickups. You, you can do this wiring that gives you these extra sounds. This is something that I've made a video on in the past and it's called the 8 Sound Stratocaster. Let me just share with you. Here I got it. So that's bridge pickup. is go to series so the series switching starts right here you put the switch up here in the middle and pull up on that push-pull pot that I installed now we've got these two pickups in series and just to give you an idea of the difference if you have them in parallel they sound this way if you have them in series they sound this way fat jazz sound and then when you put the switch in the number four position with this up you've got the bridge and middle pickup in parallel to each other with the neck in series to them which is also another great tone and back here on number five with this Remaining in the up position. This is actually my personally my favorite uh, position. This position here, what this does when you have it all the way down, you've got the neck and the bridge pickup, neck and bridge pickup in series. So this is like one humbucker right here with this not included. So that's. That's a nice tone. Right so that's the mod. And uh, so what would this cost? Somewhere around 200 bucks would be the, uh, the total investment here. It gets you the, uh, you know, everything, everything you need. You can, you can get uh, CTS. If you brought me the CTS pots, uh, like a CTS uh, volume, a tone, one for the volume, one for the tone in 250K, and then a push pull in uh, 250k. Uh, you know, it can wire it all up for you. So uh, and then shield it. And uh, you know, this is this is pretty complex wiring. Uh, it's really not something that uh, I'd recommend for an amateur to try out, especially with a with a soldering iron. <laughs> I would not recommend doing this. But um, what it does essentially is it it shows it right here in this diagram. If you can see this is you notice you've got the neck uh, pickup uh, ground is running over here to common but the ground for the middle pickup and the ground for the bridge pickup are going to this tower here this push-pull pot which makes them switchable so that's what does the uh, series switching and of course when you've got this pushed in Everything's the same. Everything is normal five-way switching. So uh, that's it. It wraps up the video, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.